ladies and gentlemen, I'm not gonna hold you. This had to be a car riding video, specifically for the content that we just watched. I don't know what that brother did to piss that woman off this bad that she was willing to risk it all, including her life and her own motor vehicle. Not only did she try to back into him and run him over, the brother got in front of the car, he dodged out of the car, and she ended up running into the building. But to take the cake, she backed up again, as you can see in the video, and then tried to run his ass over again and hit the side of the building again. I'm trying to think, what did this brother do to put this young lady in this particular mental state? I have always been careful with the type of young ladies that I choose to deal with. People think that I'm crazy, but sometimes you can read between the lines on a lot of ladies, right? So my mom, she has a coworker, right? And she shared a story with me about her coworker and I'm not gonna get into the details, baby daddy issues and all, right? So we had this party, it was a get together for my mom's job and whatnot. And it was just a whole gathering, right? So the young lady came to the party I think she was with her mom and she likes getting young lady. So she, I felt she had pretty pri privilege and you could read it all over her face. She's probably used to getting everything that she wants. Right. But then I saw this full back tattoo and I said, Oh dear God, Jesus, y'all need to stay the hell away from this woman. Cause the look on her face and that full back tat told me everything that I need to know. Now, a lot of people think that I'm crazy when I say, Young ladies with full tattoo sleeves, neck tattoos, unless they're tattooing their eyebrows on or something for the aesthetics, the makeup part. Young ladies with like full sleeve tattoos or big ass tattoos. I believe that the majority of them suffer trauma in their lives. I don't know why I feel this way, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not no psychologist, but something tells me that if a young lady is willing to put ink on their body of such a large caliber, full back tat, like I said, I would even say from the top of the shoulder down here, like that part covered, that shows um, a little bit of an indication there might be something crazy going on, but a full sleeve, something went wrong in your life somewhere. Me, young lady with a cute little tattoo here and there, like my wife, she has two tattoos, one here and then one here. Um, you know, like the little shit, cool, but the big shit, the big pieces that you would normally see, with all due respect on gentlemen, you know, something lets me know that there may not be something right in the head. And then, of course, actions speak louder than words. Seeing how they act, seeing how they react to certain things that you do, let me further know that I might be dealing with somebody crazy. So clearly, she was probably kicking this brother out of the house sometime because it looked like he was getting his clothes out the back of the car. And she tried to run him over. I don't know. He looked like he was talking shit too, though. He looked like he was antagonized in this situation. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know what it is. I was really intent on the video. If you guys watch it, I'll leave the link in the description there below to the full video. I just took the clip of it that I want you guys to see. Um, Something tells me that he was antagonizing her too, like taunting her and shit. It looked like he was popping off at the mouth, which is probably why she tried to end this brother's life, right? But ladies and gentlemen, what can we learn from this video? I say y'all gotta be careful with the young ladies you choose to deal with. I mean, I understand, man. It's hard out here in the streets, man. Thank God I'm married, right? Thank God I'm married. I ain't gonna hold you. But it's hard out here in these streets, man. Dating or finding a young lady that's willing to, you know, you know, fit a standard. Ladies, vice versa. I know it can be hard to find a, young, a dude to fit your standard as well. I know I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna sit there and say it's one way. But, you know, there's a psychological break. And I know this, I know this about ladies because I've seen it happen on more than one occasion. There is a time in every woman's life where logic is completely thrown the fuck out the window. And it usually comes in the form of heated arguments or when they're leading with the emotions. And most young ladies lead with emotion. And damn near all young ladies lead with emotion. So whatever he did to piss this girl off and the fact that he was doused in the flame or adding fuel to the fire by continuing to pop off, she was ready to end his life and her life at the exact same time. I can't hold you. Running your car into a building twice Let's me further know, you did not learn your lesson or there was something in you that said, this brother has got to die tonight. And that's what scares the hell out of me when it comes to certain guys dealing with certain women. And which is why I tell y'all, be careful who y'all fucking with, man. It goes both ways, ladies. Be careful who you rock with, careful who you fuck with, gentlemen. Be careful with the young ladies you choose to mess with because most young ladies, 
their responses may not be as aggressive as hers, like trying to run you over with a car. Some of them do. But they might try to poison your food or something, you know, some subtle shit, right? I mean, and with ladies dealing with guys, you know, man, the protective, not excuse me, not overprotective. That was that was the bad term, but the aggressive type of dudes that be, you know, real aggressive, not wanting you talk to other people and stuff. That type of abusive controlling type shit. You know, y'all gotta watch out for that as well. Um, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I did find some humor in this, but I did find it to be rather concerning because the problem that I hate to deal with that I hate to address is the fact that sometimes young ladies will probably say something along the lines of oh my god I was mentally distressed or I had a psychological break or whatever and in this case I would say it would be true but sometimes when it comes to them yeeting and deleting sometimes it comes and I'm sorry sometimes it happens and they kind of use it as a defense right they had a break, right? Oh my God, he did this to me and I was doing this to defend myself or, oh, I broke and, you know, he cheated on me or whatever and this happened and I didn't know what was happening. You know, claim insanity or some shit, <laughs> right? Not guilty by reason of insanity or some shit. So again, man, y'all gotta be careful who you rocking with. I love my young lady and, you know, there's certain things about it and when you're in a relationship, you're gonna notice this. If you can't read the room or you can't read when your lady mad or some, about some shit, that's a problem. Because you ain't gonna never know when you fucked up. <laughs> you will never know when you messed up. Um, man, that's all I wanted to talk about today, unfortunately. I'm glad. I'm hoping that brother ended up okay. I'm hoping she's okay. But let's just be honest. That car is not okay. The car is not okay. It's 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 gone. It's it's gone. If it still runs. I need to know the model of that particular vehicle because that is one sturdy vehicle that can be ran into a wall twice and still manage to run. I need to know the model and the make of that car. I could probably see it in the video. I just got to watch it again to check it out. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. This has been a good doc, man. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed. Doc is out.